Good evening fellow Groove Riders, I am Will from Wheels Electrical Services, welcome back to Electrician TV. In tonight's episode what we do is we uh, test about three different properties just to see the condition because we've got uh, building works that are happening on all of them so we just wanted to see the state of play of all the cabling. Right let's get into it. One of the first questions I get asked is where is the worst place I've been to make a TikTok and the answer is always easy, Luton. Out of all the other posts I kind of go send myself into a bit of a daydream and just make myself chuckle as I walk around filming. Today there is a rival to Luton, Stevenage. I'm not saying it's as bad as Luton but it does mirror the place on a smaller scale. There's a lot of what I'd call geezers walking around shouting angrily into their phones at their friends on the other end for, and I quote, not picking up earlier. Not a great place. So we just uh, Tuesday morning, just doing this condition report. We're doing a uh, rear extension. Now we're actually moving this fuse board, which is going to go from here over to there. I'll show you in a minute, but we're actually just doing a condition report to see what all was here. So what they've got is that they did have an off-peak board, which is going to be converted, which is this is funky as anything because it come the power comes into there, and then through the bottom through this RCD, then fed up there, then through there up to that one and by the looks of it all those uh, all the um, all the old storage heaters because obviously you've got the gas boiler there it's been converted so and that looks like it's going to be the old extension that looks like high tough which must be the ring main for the old conservatory that's going to be the extension got a little bit of a cold that just is here with us got a little bit of a cold here so going in there, the board's going to go there I think, so it's been altered, all this board's been pulled down and that's been a proper extension, I think the poor old bird got mugged off for the, oh yeah, old sweet, the thing we always check is because they were doubled up in the uh, MCB is uh, whether it's uh, borrowed neutral but you can see there's a proper triple there even though we've uh, taken each conductor out and tried them individually and got up and down and we yeah. I don't know why Ebb's come up with a good point because it's got down lights and it's got a few lights it could have been overloading though because they've just put in a five into a five haven't they there ain't that there ain't there ain't that many good lights is it <laughs> <laughs> yes, <good. laughs> nice little find here these down lights in the kitchen so drilling through the joist and just literally just plastered it in. Chased out the ceiling. Yeah, you know, show all that bonding over there as well. Push it all out. Stay it out. What's that in connectors there? This old. Too far, I think. We'll have to look into that. Mm. That wall's coming down anyway. The wall's coming down and the board is being moved onto this wall here. Oh, mate. Yeah. How fit do I look today, <laughs> good? Still bald. <laughs> I, uh, I went running this morning and someone overtook me walking. Ebsy <laughs> <laughs> oh. couldn't find the earth in the loft and uh, he's just jumped up there. Yeah, look what we found, look. All the earths are cut out, all the CPCs. He was getting like 120 volts and all that, but yeah, look. There's quite a few of them up there. If you could do us a massive favour and show your support for the channel, if you could like, follow, subscribe, and flick my bean, it helps the channel grow. Good morning. I'm just literally doing a condition report on a place where they're having major work done. The, the back of the house is all being pulled apart, and it's only basically this room and the room above that's going to remain the same. But we're just checking all the circuits and all that. So, what you've got is you've got downstairs, upstairs. I think that's outside lights, up and down ring, cooker and bar at the back. But yeah, the uh, is a T and the TNS system. Uh, two six mils for the water and the gas. I couldn't actually find them. The MET isn't labelled. The gas meter is just out there, but it's not there. But you can see them going out the floor. I'm pretty sure we do have to get a few new cables back to this board, which is obviously being replaced. So that isn't too much of an issue because obviously we have to lift up some of the floor. Uh, 
I'll just give you a quick tour. So from here to there is all being altered. The whole lot is going to be awards. But absolutely stunning house. Let's check out their bathroom. This is actually going to be two story with a loft conversion as well. So we're going for it. So yeah, what you found there is. So there's no room above here, and there's no fire, open back down lights with no fire hoods, and also they're in connectors, but this has been demolished. This, the whole reason for this condition report is just to see what the shape of the cabling's like, you know, because obviously they want to save cost where if they can, but uh, yes, yeah, better me, that is, uh, see you later, arsehole. <laughs> It's a beautiful house though, isn't it? Yeah, they just need more space. So I think yeah, this is going to be a double story from here. And then there's going to be a bedroom and that, and an ensuite in the loft. So, so it's going to be absolutely stunning. But so far, so good. I'll show you something. Uh, Joe, Joe, who's house it is, of so, Van Persie. He's uh, his good friend, his best mates with uh, Curtis, who I've done my apprenticeship with, but he's more commercial. I like what you've been doing, boy. And um, what's oddly enough, which, which obviously we started getting concerned about, was these old brick, like uh, these are like Baker like old light switch. I was worried about that, but it's actually got harmonised cables in there. So God knows where Curtis got the uh, uh, switch from. We must have dug it out from a Stevenage Museum. Right, let's break it down get into it. I just thought I'd give you a quick look. What we're doing here. Ebsy suspects that it's a one mil worth. So go on in Ebsy, if you can do the end-to-ends on the R1, which is the line conductor, what we're getting, we're getting about 54. We're rushing this because we've got to keep it under a minute. So what you've got there on the RN, you've got 54, so that's and perfect. Again. And then what we've got here? One point. About 1.34, yeah. We've already done this, so it's quite funny. Some geezer will before pull me up in the pub, so uh, not in the pub, in the wholesaler saying that 2.5 never had one mil, but it's even in the code breaker. So, what Ebbs is doing here yeah, 2 .5. is because it's 2.5 times uh, on one mil, so it's going to be 2.5, then times that by what you got for the R1 gives you 1.35, so that's all, almost guarantees that that is a one mil worth. Nice one. It's actually a uh, code free and code breakers. Well, I'll quickly show you this board. There's so many interesting things I can show you on here. So obviously, where this is a 16th edition split low board, so that's all RCD protected. So there's a few things I can show you. So you've got six mil on a B40, which that's an overload device exceeds cable rating. Then also you've got a uh, B20 with an armoured, where the earth is, uh, they've used the grey instead of the black, but, that's no real big deal. Um, this is all being changed anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but um, I'm pretty sure them B20s were all recalled on the national uh, thing. They even come into my home and had a look. You know, it was just everywhere, every house, they just done nationwide looking for them B20s. Well, I'm not sure if it was that model or the one before, but I'm sure it was the NSBs, but be interested if you know, put it in the comments below. Nice little find. Hey. Socket in a bathroom, Marsh with well, it's a non sweet, but don't let that ruin a good story. And a light switch, but I think the light switch is now like 2.6 away, which obviously that isn't. And that this is all being demolished, we're just doing the test to see. But it's interesting, though, isn't it? Marsh, it's one of the rarest ones you never find that in the heart of it. Ebbs is, <laughs> Ebbs is in his own look. What on earth is this shit? What is going on here? Dirty, dirty. Aye? Having Del Boy in a Tottenham shirt. I think he's a Millwall fan, isn't he? Highest Spurs fan. Yeah, right, okay. guys. Tottenham legends, I doubt there's even one, is it? Aye? Jimmy Graves, Chelsea legend. <sighs> dearie, dearie, mate. Stuff you have to put up with. Here, Matt's. Do you recognise any of your favourites? Proper job. That's nice, that is.
Right, so I'll just quickly show you this test that we'll, we, what we do. This is a earth leakage meter by Mega. And what you do is you go between the, the main tails. And because you're reg uh, measuring the imbalance, you've got to go between the live and the neutral and the tails and not the earth. And there you can see, we've still got the main switch off there. We was recording 15 milliamps there. So what that is, is that if this was over if this was over 30 milliamps or what we usually find when we do the ramp check is 23 milliamps so anything over that it would start tripping the rcd the reason we're doing this here is that if you pan over to here when someone installed this rcd none of these none of these are actually on an rcd so that's what always makes you concerned and always want to look further into it and that's what that's all for and usually if it is you read over like 20 milliamps then you might start tripping an rcd because on a ramp check they usually come out about 20 milliamps ebbs didn't they yeah yeah well worth it unbelievable Yes, yes, so we've got this large farmhouse which has got all these rewirable fuses which looks like it's probably from the 70s by the looks of it. It looks all well labelled. We just the uh, customers have just bought it. So we just want to see what needs doing. They've got loads of building work they need doing. They just want to see what they can survive and what can't. A lot of it's all clipped direct. Cheers, cheers. Yes, so it's just done and so we're just doing the report on this so a lot of it's called clip direct i think we've just found that it's got one mil earth in there as well it's got some interesting things as well like that them lights are actually spurred off the ring main and uh they've actually switched from here as well so that's quite interesting we we'll look into that we've got some five amp plugs to do that so Evs is just doing the end to ends. We've discovered that this has got a one mil worth. You can you can tell if it's got one mil worth. Uh, that just ages the cable really. Doesn't really cause a mean too much, but yeah, it's lovely. So we're just gonna go around do the R1, R2s, get all them. Uh, I think we're gonna do the insulation resistance as well. Get that all nice and sorted. And see, but it's coming out all right really. So a lot of it is all clipped like this. I think the house is actually 400 years old. It's beautiful. I'll show up the stairs, some of the uneven floors. Just wanted to get for the uh, R1. The R1 I got uh, one. Uh, RF 1. Uh, R2. Uh, 2.18. 2.18. So that's actually under the 2. Point. So that. 2.2, I think, yeah. What, 2.2? What, if you times it by, uh, what, 2.5? Uh, double. Was it, is it 1.5 or is it 1.5? Well, yes, yeah, I'd say definitely, yeah. 1.5, yeah? Yeah, so if it's 1, it's going to be 2.5, so it's 2.2, 20 ohms lower, isn't it? It's not 1.6, 1.5, is it? No, it's not 1.5, it's 2.5. Yeah, yeah, so it's 2.5, yeah. Yeah, so it's 2.5. So it's lower, isn't it? Yeah. Probably have to edit that. <laughs> yeah, and it was eighty three for the R one R two. Yeah. Yeah, point eighty three. Yeah. Yeah. How many points did you find? Yeah, I'm gonna count when I've got when I do the loop, but I think it was probably about fifteen. Yeah. Did you do you know seen the one by the router and that? Yeah. Yeah, that single one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'll quickly show you this. Like uh, we've had a bit of a sort out in the yard and all that, and so we've got loads of these boxes which I'm trying to re-upcycle. So we've made a load of these up. So we've got a load of these plugs. We've got the the, uh, the plug-in selling rows. And also using Jay, Jay the Sparks idea is that we've got that plug so we can use that for for the uh, plug-in selling rows. We've even got the five amps which we need for here as well, which just plug in, plug that, and then we can just do a normal loop. Having to, uh, obviously we take a few apart for for visual inspection and then also we've created a little knowing thing for our little plug there aren't we good little idea isn't it 
don't know. And I think we may get some two out ones as well. Just trying to make it a bit more easier. Keep this in the van a bit more tidier. Just make life easier, isn't it? Oh, such a, such a, <laughs> such a lyrical game. So we'll just show you this in use. So basically we're plugging in the meter to there. We've got that plugged in there. We know the resistance to that cable, so we can deduct that from the loop. But we're just showing you, just so you know. Yeah. It's obviously too high, because we know we've got that point 93, and we've got one over there, one over there, and that's how we use it. Now, now change it over and put the, uh, in now, so now go on to that, and now the leads, yeah. Yeah, we're just using that for a null. So basically, all we've done in there just to make it easier is we've put all the conductors together, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, and that works a treat. That put saves putting, I think it's 20p or 50p, but sweet, isn't it? Yeah, so bring it pretty closer so you can see it. So, another thing what we bring is because obviously I've come to survey this is that they've got all rewirable fuses. Is we, when we strip these out, we keep, keep a set of them. And uh, obviously keep the uh, keep the shields as well because these are actually different. I don't know if you can see that. Have I got any out here? But they, they are slightly different, so the pins don't marry up. So that one won't fit into the Sasa Thirty Two. That won't fit into that one without using that shield. So you have to change it over. Yeah, but that is a massive tip because we're we're looking for circuits and they're just these rewirable domino sort of type. We don't have to keep. We could just turn, board to take our break right now. Yeah, well, we could just turn it on and off just to check it quickly. But yeah, they're well worth keeping hold of. But obviously, yeah, obviously this is going to have a profusable change anyway. But yeah. So a quick tour of the second one. So that's one's going to be the cooker in it. That one's got three. So you so you probably guarantee it's going to be that one. Even though I wonder if that does that barn, because when the, when the valetor was here. I yeah. turn that back on, so I wonder if that does that. That's gonna be the immersion. The lights. We've found all the lights upstairs, haven't we? It's just downstairs now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so one might there's not anything, no smoke alarms or anything. Most of them all okay. So that one's actually got these ones have got a lot of the retro ones fitted. They're so that's a, that's a good example there of the difference between the two different types that they're in there. See what I mean? Well dangerous though, isn't it? Yeah, we'll have to do the earth leakage on this before we go and all just to see, but it's okay. Just, uh, yeah, what we have to do is just mark it all up and then we have to put the cover on because we can't leave it. See where it's got the caps missing there. Yeah, that's what I hate about them labels because you don't really know which is on yeah. and off, do you? It looks that? on now. But... It looks on, but it's actually off because you that's push it down and then that signs that sign down to there. Sweet, nice one. So just testing this uh, end to end. Look, we found a load of the verdigris. But lucky enough, this is the bit where we got to do a lot of the work. There's no end to end readings. Well, that's high. Yeah, now just do the line conductors. 174. Neutrals. Yeah, nowhere near these. Yeah, see the verdigris. It's just cut the rooms in the kitchen, but this is all being knocked into one anyway, so don't really matter. Nice one. Oh, you got a player, please. What's all the teeth about? Ones for all the solar junkies. Look at that. Someone's trying to eke out as much power as they can. Look, it's overhanging the roof. Yes, player. Yes, yes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget if you can be anything this week, then be electric. Up the old blues. You know, imagine not being an electrician. Saw that. <laughs> <laughs>